Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Well, it is finally 2023. Wow, 2022 went by so fast and I, I swear, the older my kids get, the faster they seem to go. Like, ugh, I can't even believe it. So, January 2023 and I have my Ipsy bags. <laughs> so I cannot wait to get started with you guys and show you what I got for the new year. So we're going to start off with a little card uh, and it says January 2023, the year of you. Forget reinvention, throw resolutions out the door, never mind starting over. This year just focus on doing you and discovering what makes you happy. Perfecting your skincare routine, experimenting with nail art, finding time to read, or reconnecting with friends. So, yeah. It's always good to focus on yourself. I think that is a great summary for what this year should be. Um, you know, a little self-care. It's always a good thing. We're going to go start off with our Ipsy Glam bag. I actually think this bag is super, super cute. I love the fuzzy part of it. It's so soft. Um, and of course it has a little tag that says Ipsy right there. Let's see. One of the first items we have in here is from Oriza. This is a Nebula Shimmer Eyeshadow. I think this is like a little quad. Um, now I typically just put these in a giveaway because I do have quite a collection of palettes and normally shades that are in here are ones that I already own. And it looks like this actually has like plastic all over it, so I'm not going to open it up um, unless, of course, I get it in my personal one. But these are what the shades look like. Got some like mauve colors in there. So that's really pretty. And with Valentine's Day being right around the corner, this would be cute to have. So that's not bad. Another item we have is, what is this, from Shayna B. Miami. This is a lip gloss. I think I've actually gotten this brand before. Um, I can't remember if I liked it or not. I, I don't, I don't know. You get so many things through Ipsy and it's like, it kind of triggers, you know, did you get it or not, but I don't know. I'd have to literally go back through. This is really pretty. Wow. Okay, so this is like a pink with shimmer. I don't, you probably won't be able to see the shimmer on camera, but it is really, really pretty. Oh, wow. This is definitely something I would wear. Uh, I have a lip gloss on it now. I'm wearing Kaja Beauty's lip gloss uh, and Rosy Mocha. I, I actually really like their lip glosses because they're not sticky and they don't create those lines when you're talking and get all icky. <laughs> I'm very particular about my lip glosses, but that is so pretty. Oh, that'll be pretty, really pretty in like the spring and summertime when you're outdoors and the sun is like shining. You can see all the little sparkles. Um, oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay, the next item is... Doo -doo -doo. Rebel Eye Definer Pencil in Rebelled. Rebelled. From. Oh, it's in cursive. I can barely read it. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot read the name of this brand. Uh, but it does say that it's made in Germany. I don't know if you'll be able to read it or not. But there is the name. And it looks to be. A black so ooh, that's really really creamy look how dark that is nice sometimes you get a black liner and it's like not really black but it can be like grayish um, this is just a solid jet black liner I like that that's gonna be great for like the lower lash line or um, tight lining so yes and it's full size. Another item we have is from NARS. Wow, okay. This is a velvet matte lip pencil in the shade Dolce Vita. Ooh, nice. Oh, that is a pretty color. 
I like it. Okay. That's a pretty color. I would definitely wear that and it's really, really creamy. Oh yeah. Okay. I like that. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from NARS, not in my Ipsy Glam Bag, or at least not to my knowledge. That's pretty awesome. And the very last item is from Dew of the Gods, Phil's Mini Squalene and Oat Milk Dry Erase Facial Scrub. Hmm. Okay, it says diamonds are cold, gold is overrated, silk is just a fabric, don't pretend, feel what's real. <laughs> That's an interesting statement, huh? Um, Microdermabrasion crystals bind to a rich oat milk base to form the ultimate dry erase. Uh, so say goodbye to layers, years, and tears with our Lux Dry Erase Facial Scrub, formulated with fat, fatty squalene to protect new skin while the old you washes away. Go on, catch the feels. <laughs> that sounds interesting. So you're supposed to uh, put it on. It's an exfoliating uh, dry scrub. So you put it on dry skin, add water to reduce the scrub pressure, gently massage with water in circular motion, wipe or wash away. That sounds really interesting. So yeah, let's do a quick recap of the Ipsy Glam Bag. All in all, I think this is a pretty decent start to the year. I mean, first of all, we got a lip product from NARS. That's pretty gnarly. And it's a pretty decent size. Um, we got a full size lip gloss, which is gorgeous. I love the color. Uh, we got a full size eyeliner, um, which was really nice and creamy. We got the little quad palette and the exfoliating dry scrub. So I, I think this is actually a pretty decent bag. <laughs> All right, let's just move on to our Glam Bag Plus. So this is the bag right here. It is so pretty. It's purple with the little flowers on there. I love it. Let's see. The very first item is... <sighs> yes! Okay, I'm so excited for this. You guys, I love mascaras. I love testing out new ones. Um, my collection is quite extensive. So this it fits right up my alley. So this is the Milk Makeup uh, Rise Mascara. So it's supposed to lift, length, and volume. So that's it right there. Now I don't want to open it up yet because I do have a couple of mascaras open and I want to get through those. But this is awesome. And the fact that I have a full size one means everything because if I like it then I will be able to use it for quite a while. Okay so the next item we have is from Hey Honey. This is the Sweet Treat Wild Berry and Honey Yogurt Recovery Mask. That sounds phenomenal. Um, yeah it says restore the appearance of dull, dull skin impacted by environmental factors. So that will be nice to try out. Another item we have is a vitamin C serum. This is from Flora and B. Um, and it's the Nectar of the Sea Brightening Vitamin C Serum. Now I do have a lot of serums in my drawer, so I might not keep this one. I might just put this one uh, in the next uh, Valentine's Day giveaway. And let me just show you what the bottle looks like. Huh. That's really nice. So this is what the bottle looks like. It comes with like a little dropper. Uh, this is actually cruelty free and 100% vegan. So that's always a plus. Another item we have is a brush. Uh, this is from Half Cake. This is their crease brush. I love brushes. I love getting brushes. It makes me so happy. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is really soft and this is going to go straight in my collection because I definitely like crease brushes that are a little bit smaller um, than the big fluffy ones because it gives me a little bit more control since I have hooded lids. So this is perfect. And the very last item we have is from Tarte. This is their Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. Um, I actually have this and I love it. Now I, it looks like they've changed the packaging. Um, yeah. So this is the drink of H2O Boost as well. This is what mine looks like. And then, of course, the new container. 
um, looks like this. So these are the differences. But I actually really, really like this. The moisturizer just, ugh, it smells good and it feels good on the skin. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see on camera. Um, it just feels really nice on the skin. And I think I got about, maybe about half left. So this definitely came at the right time. All right, so really quickly, let's go over our Glam Bag Plus. Uh, so we got the Recovery Mask, which sounds really nice with honey and wild berry yogurt. It's awesome. Uh, we got the Vitamin C Serum. We have the Tarte uh, Moisturizer, which I love. We got the brush and we got the Milk uh, Mascara that I'm super excited for. So I think this one is a little bit skincare heavy. Um, we only got two items that have to do with really like makeup. But these are two products that I absolutely love and I love the moisturizer. So I think this is still a really good bag to start off the year. Tell me what you think down below. I'd really like to know. All right guys, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.